So this is lesson 8.5. I'm going to put an A there. I'm, ass I'm assuming that we're going to probably have a couple videos here. Al um, intermediate algebra. Algebra and composition with functions. So you're getting into this whole function thing and you're thinking, oh no, I hate functions. Sorry guys, they're like, that's math from now on is dealing with functions. Not to the extreme that we are right now, but you are going to be using functions forever and ever. Amen. So better get used to it. Bottom of the page, 513. We have some definitions here. And uh, in the last lesson, I said, okay, some of your problems, whoops, some of your problems look like this. And you were supposed to find the function of 2 and the function of 3 and then add the 2. So if you're trying to find the function of one number and add it to the function of another one, uh, oops, let's put an x in there, like that, there's a shortcut to writing it. And the shortcut to writing it looks like this. It's not really too much of a shortcut. But that means you take the function of x, the f of x, and the g of x and add them up. If we're subtracting, That looks like this, minus those two, and you get that. If you're multiplying, looks like this. And if you're dividing, if you're going to take the function of x and divide by the g of x, that's going to look like this. Okay, it's not really too much of a shortcut, but it just kind of, well, that's just the way they do it. All right, so let's start with example number one. And they give you f of x, and they say that's equal to 4x squared plus. 3x. And they also give you a g of x, and they say that's equal to 2. that. All right. So write the formula for the functions f plus g and f minus g. Okay, so this is what they want you to do. They want you to take that and write the formula. Okay, so that equals f of x plus g of x, right? So what we'll do is we'll write f of x and then we'll write g of x. So we'll do that in yellow. And then we're going to combine. Combine these. Okay, that is what they wanted for what they want for an answer. Okay, we're just taking the f of x, the g of x, adding them together. Uh, the next part of this, they want you to do f minus g of x. So that's going to be f of x minus, there goes that backhoe again, minus g of x. So f of x is four looks like he's just kind of playing around on the thing plus three x okay minus this right here uh, whatever g x is negative five x minus six probably could put those in parentheses here all right so four x squared plus three x plus five x and distribute that negative 4x squared plus 8x plus 6 ends up being my final answer. And the key thing here is distributing this negative here and here. All right, since it's in parentheses here, you know that you're going to have to distribute that negative. All right, let's go ahead and look at example number 2. 
f of x equals 4x minus 3. And I'm talking a lot. My throat is getting sore because I'm trying to do like tons of videos because I skipped a couple days. Um, they're asking us to find f plus g. f, g, and g over f. All right, so let's go ahead and find the f plus g first. And remember, that's this. And that will be 4x minus 3, put it in parentheses, plus whatever g of x is. Adding those together. Can't really do much to it except rearrange it in the right order. And you get that for an answer. All right, let's do the f of g. That's f of x times, whoops, g of x, and I'm going to erase this here so I have a little more room, and that will be f of x is 4x minus 3, and then g of x is 4x squared, and I'm going to multiply those. So, um, just to make this easier for me, I'm going to switch these around because I like having the single number there in the binomial following. Distribute. And that's what I get for my answer for that one. All right, the next one has me dividing. Again, clearing my palette a little bit. G of x. So g of x divided by f of x. So g of x is 4x squared, and that's going to go over 4x minus 3. And I can't do anything with that. So that's, that's my answer there. So that's example number 2. Whoops, let's jump to example 3. And they give me an f of x equals x plus 3. And a g of x equals 2x minus 1. And an h of x. So they're just giving me three different functions here. Again, it doesn't really do anything weird. Okay. And they want to find f, g of 2. That means they want us to do f of 2 times g of 2. So we're going to take and find that first. So we're going to use the top equation. So f of 2 equals 2 plus 3, which equals 5. Circle that. And then they want us to find g of 2, which we're going to take the middle equation and put a 2 in for that. Circle that. Now, what they want us to do is... Whatever we get for f of 2, which was 5, and whatever we got for g of 2, which was 3, we're going to multiply. And that is our answer. So our f g of 2 is going to be 15. Okay. So, let's see if I can make my, my eraser bigger. Didn't really do a whole lot. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I'm, I All I care about is these three equations here, so I'm getting the other stuff out of the way. The other thing they want us to do is, let's see, they want us to find h of 2. So we just look at the bottom equation and we put a 2 wherever we see the x. So we've got 8 here, plus 10 minus 3 equals 15. So h of 2 equals 15. All right, keep practicing this stuff. The next one is um, h of 1 divided by g of 1. So they want us to put in 1 for h, so 2 times 1 squared plus 5 times 1 minus 3 over the g of 1. 2 times 1 minus 1. Alright, so let's bring all this 
down a little bit. Um, this is going to give me 2 plus 5 minus 3 over 2 minus 1 is 1. So 7 minus 3 is 4 over 1, which equals 4. Okay? All right, so composition of functions is the next section here, and they really, gosh, they really don't go into this much, so I will spend a little bit more time than the book does with this. I won't be doing the handy-dandy pictures probably, but anyway, that'll be 8.5b.